Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. 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 New. 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 <laughs> 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 Today is February 8, 2022. It is 2.53 a.m. I was putting some more stuff onto my list so I could uh, add to share with you. Okay, so I was looking at my back end before I started recording. And uh, I see, I think I mentioned it on one of my videos yesterday with my revenue estimate. Look at it now. It's $267.01. And you have to look back from January at least 22, okay? Because the 21st, that's when they will send me my previous month check, and then they start new, the new setting. So I'll say from January 22nd till now, February 8th, the, the revenue have not changed as much. Something is not right with YouTube on this part. Sometimes they say, the, they messed up with the revenue, but I haven't seen anything on my back end that says something is wrong with the estimation and stuff like that. But I just want to point it out. This is not right. This amount have not changed yet because I've had a lot of other videos that were live since February, um, since January 21st. All right, let's go back till January. Okay, let's do 23 here because all of them are on that page. Okay, this video, January 23rd, 569 views. And look at this one, 752 views. And we go up, there's a couple uh, hundred. There's this one, what was it? 804, 500, I'm skipping some, 576 views, 452 views. And this one, I'm uploading it right now. So I've had a good amount. So all of them could add up to maybe two or 3,000 views total all right and there's one before that i didn't i didn't check so the revenue should not stay into what was it uh 267 dollars and one cents it should be slightly up and i don't have anything that has any issues 
this one, the copyright thing, look at this. There's none. Okay? So, I don't know what's going on. All right? So, let's not waste time. Let's go on Twitter, see what's going on. First tweet, had a chat with a GMB this morning about whether Camilla should be queen. My view is not what the public want. Queen has always been service as sacrifice. Princess Hansel is a sacrifice that shows sympathy and respect for Diana. Okay, let's see here. So he put a clip of himself being interviewed on Good Morning Britain. Here, the Queen has said it was her sincere wish that Camilla would be known as Queen Consort. Quote, it leaves them vulnerable to the allegation of emotional indifference. End quote. Jack Royston believed the royal family are reneging. Jack Royston believes the royal family are reneging on the promise for Camilla to be only Princess Consort. All right, let's see here. How many minutes? Yes, sir. One minute um, and 21 yes. seconds. I have to um, Back in the days of Princess Diana was that they were emotionally indifferent to Diana, that she was suffering and that they didn't care. And what this did, it was a sacrifice. Bear in mind, the Queen has always seen service as being about sacrifice. This was, being, this was about a sacrifice out of respect for Diana that showed the world that the royal family do care and that it wasn't just going to be business as usual after Diana died. So removing that now leaves them once again more vulnerable to that allegation of emotional indifference. Well, look, here's the thing. Mm. You're quite right about the opinion polls. Ah, oh, that, he's kind of right here. You know, I mean, let's forget our issues with the way they behave and all of this. But this aspect, the point that he brought up here, saying out of respect for Diana, okay, they will not give, uh, what's, it, what's her name? Uh, Camilla that kind of queen the title of being a queen this kind of thing out of respect for Diana so now people who had you know people who have morality core values who had respected Diana both when she was alive and after her death okay knowing what we know what went behind the scene what they did to her so I understand his aspect here all right so let's continue and that's reflected in the response we've had this morning. The vast majority of people contacting us say they're not happy with Camilla becoming queen, ultimately. Um, but these are all people, and I include... My so a lot of people in the UK seems like they're not happy with that, okay, based on what he's saying. And I've seen on, on, on Twitter too, there's some people, I don't know if they are in the UK or just around the world, but a lot of people that I come across on Twitter, they're not happy with that. All right, so let's continue. Um, but these are all people, and I include myself in this, who've never met her and don't know her. And every single person I've ever met over the years who've, who's actually bumped into Camilla, met her at some do, and including Susanna here, who was talking about it earlier, I've met her on a number of say occasions. that she's wonderful. And yep. if the public just had the chance to get to know her a bit, to actually... Okay, let's listen to what this guy is saying, okay? Just think exactly what, she's, what he is saying here. Why no one have spoken about Megan that way? Majority of people have not met Megan, but they were smearing her name all over. This is the thing here. These people, my goodness, where was this guy when they were smearing Megan's name all over? Many people have not met her. How come nobody stand up for Megan back then? 
All right, this is the thing. That's the hypocrisy of these people. But let, let's listen. I'm, I push it back a little bit. Wonderful. And yep. if the public just had the chance to get to know her a bit, to actually possibly see her being interviewed, at least hear her speak a bit, we might actually feel a lot more tender towards her. Yes, that's probably true. But it's also, like I said, it's not necessarily about whether Camilla's a nice person or not. It's about the royal family and Diana, and all of this that's is going right. to get raked up again. It's about Charles as much as it is about Camilla. That's true. That's true. He's right. I agree with him. All right, let's see some of the comment here. Please go rogue next time. You're on with Levine. And just remind people she supports hate account toward the Sussexes. So we know why she continues to bash them because she will get money for her book. But by the way, there's a. Uh, something i recorded yesterday i don't think i edited it yet um is that um the uk there was some sort of law that was presented to i guess to uh for them to make it law i i, I don't know but regarding social media pages and things like that help to help people accountable and all of that guess what they reject that so these people they're not gonna change it's gonna be on our pure team sussex that video and i have a first version of it where it was being introduced it was being talked as uh, they're gonna do they're gonna try to make this a law and then now i come across a uh, article that pretty much said the people the government sort of reject that particular kind of law all right so but one is already live okay people have seen it and everything but there's one i recorded yesterday i need to edit it and upload it on app your team sussex so which means social media in the uk nothing is gonna change I, when i read this that just remind me of that okay i see the trolls have come out to make you back down camilla's been dragged all weekend whether they want to admit it or not i'm telling you these people have no shame uh, the camilla and all that all the things she has done i can't not imagine putting my face out there into society after knowing what she done both when diana was alive and look at her now they have no shame at all okay also monarchy is about sacrifice people expect harry to sacrifice his wife for his brother's family and harry's only six online sean charles of sacrifice his life with camilla for monarchy isn't what it's supposedly about self-sacrifice monarchy first Please, Megan has nothing. People with respect, the kind of behavior these people are doing. You are telling me those pedophile is self sacrifice for the monarch? Look at all how they're blocking, uh, preventing uh, Andrew from being, uh, you know, prosecuted. The police cover up for him and all of that. This is self sacrifice. People need to have moral, moral. So show the next generation how to be good human being. But these people have none. Okay, sacrifice what? They have been married for 15 years. Why bring Harry and Meghan? Uh, thank you. Bring me into this. They are happy living their lives in California. Leave them alone. Thank you. Harry and Meghan have nothing to do with this BS. They, they don't like it. They remove themselves out of there. Okay, the royal PR propaganda machine at its best. It's cringe and sickening. And Charles know how to play that game. He know how to do the stepping stone. Use one roadblock and then create you know give you that illusion of one thing all right give you that uh, imaginary or false promise and then once that time passed he, he he heard all over it and then he created another false sacrifice now this is the pinnacle of things when he become king are they gonna do that for camilla this is where the people need to come up i'm telling you diana do your thing up there let me read some more of the comment we don't have Morganatic marriage in the UK. The wife of a king is queen consort. Calling her princess consort is inaccurate and confusing. So what? What was uh, Philip? Okay, you're missing the point. Charles shouldn't even be the next king. He should have been made abdicate like Edward. And the palace told us princess consort is what she will be known as because she's divorced and the circumstances of which their relationship occur. Okay, let's see here okay that's what i've been wondering about as an outsider is he even allowed to be king after getting a divorce and marrying a divorcee because edward had abdicated for what i mean for that that's the thing here yeah and i forgot to look at this aspect by the way yeah yeah okay i keep reading about british royal and their life 
of sacrifice, but I would like to know exactly what has Prince Charles or his spouse sacrificed. What have they owned up to? List benefit and list cost. A gluttony and entitlement does not align with sacrifice. Hmm. Plotting pre Diana's death. Hmm. That's the other thing here. Plotting pre Diana's death and following her death. Why have British journalists failed to uh, populist? I mean, Forget the the tabloid and the UK. Forget about them. Morality does not exist. Does not exist. Very few. The ones who have moral don't even have the uh, the mic to uh, to speak their truth. But for the ones who have the uh, the mic, morality does not exist. Okay. If a uh, arsonist is released from prison, it doesn't mean he should become a fireman. What Charles and Camilla are accused of is called abuse. They are unfit. <laughs> Diana, this is your... You know how you, what they did to you over here. This is the time for you to advocate to the Lord. This needs to be stopped. All right, let's see this one here. Known all this, okay, she's pointing down here. Uh, Toby went and called his mother paranoid to pave way for Camilla. I bet, yeah, Toby will not get that duchy and be financially independent until he kisses Camilla's in public. By the time he ascends to the throne, his dignity will be long gone, <laughs> like Eddie Wessex. <laughs> Let's see here. My God, my God. I, I don't think, t as I'm looking at this picture here, I don't think Charles never really invest, okay? All his kids with Diana, I don't think he invests a, a damn feeling, any values, anything with the kids. I think he just produced because they forced him to marry Diana. It's just unfortunately that they use Diana uh, as much as they can. The, the firm used Diana and um, Charles did the same thing, used Diana. There was no feeling whatsoever, nothing behind Diana. Okay, the monarch, Charles, which is part of the monarch, had no feeling at all for Diana. They just used her to produce for the firm. And after she produced, look, what did they do? They got rid of her. Okay, so now anything that Charles does, even with his kid, look, I don't even need to say, but look what happened with Harry, with, look at, oh my God, there's no feeling at all behind anything that he did with Diana. Any kids he produced, there's no feeling at all. So he trained, uh, what's his name, uh, Baldy, to be his type for the firm, and then he's probably just using him as well as a stepping stone. There's no feeling at all. Does Camilla have any? I don't know. Maybe there is. I'm just speaking my opinion here. Does Charles have any kids with uh, what's her name? Camilla? Maybe there's more feeling toward that child than if there is. If there is, because I don't know. If there is, the, he probably have more feeling toward that child than anybody else. And I believe there's a rumor going on. There's a child that was born between. Um, I think he's leaving in Australia or something. They try to shut him up or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if it's true. But there's no feeling. There's no feeling at all with anybody that uh, Charles produced with uh, Diana. The same way they got rid of her after they got what they wanted out of her. There's nothing at all here. All right. So, Princess Diana, this is the time to do your thing. Because as human beings, we must have feeling. If we don't have feeling, we will destroy everything that's in our past. In our path because through feelings that's where we show respect to others we uh, respect to nature we respect to everything else because it's feeling that shows that my goodness but these people have done how long did the Queen waited after Diana passed to say something and they had to force her to do something and then when Diana died I believe the first thing that she said um, I think I mentioned on yesterday's video is that uh, I think with the consulate, the British consulate in, the, in, in Paris, they asked uh, them what sort of jewelry Diana was wearing. You know, they only care about material stuff. They don't care about human f feelings. So I don't know what, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Harry has for the Queen because there's no feeling there. She'll sacrifice him for the wolves. <laughs> and we've seen some step toward that too. 
All right, Charles and Camilla once plotted to portray Diana as, quote, unbalanced and unfaithful, and quote, new book claim. That was when? Uh, March 22, 2018, by Julia Breckensbein. Oh, my goodness. Okay, the couple who famously had an extramarital affair while Charles was married to Diana then allegedly worked with author Penny Jr. to portray the people's princess as, quote, an unbalanced and unfaithful wife suffering from a borderline personality disorder who had compelled Charles to return to his true love, end quote, by will reveal. He says that your husband renewed his relationship with Mrs. Camilla Parker Bowles. Were you aware of that? Yes, I was. But I wasn't in a position to do anything about it. What evidence did you have that their relationship was continuing even though you were married? A, a woman's instinct is a very good one. <laughs> is that all? Well, I had, I, obviously I had knowledge of it. From staff? Well, from people who minded and cared about our marriage, yes. What effect did that have on you? Pretty devastating. Rampant bulimia, if you can have rampant bulimia, and just a feeling of being no good at anything and being useless and hopeless and failed in every direction. Wow. And with a husband who was having a relationship with somebody else? Was a husband who loved someone else, yes. It was already difficult, but it became increasingly difficult. In a practical sense, how did it become difficult? Well, people were... When I say people, I mean friends of my husband's side were indicating that I was, again, unstable, um, sick, and should be put in an, a home of some sort in order to get better. I was almost an embarrassment. Do you think he really thought that? Well... There's no better way to dismantle a personality than to isolate it. So you were isolated? Mm-hmm. Very much so. Do you think Mrs. Parker Bowles was a factor in the breakdown of your marriage? Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. And Diana said do all this stuff herself. She said all of this stuff herself. And then you have the, the son, the firstborn, to go on national television to uh, betray his mother like that and discredit everything that she said. This is why people don't have, uh, how do you call this, don't have respect for him. Okay, though it's been decades since Princess Diana's tragic death and Prince Charles married to Camilla Parker Bowles knew, and then what was it? Wasn't uh, Charles uh, give the people a promise that he was not going to marry her? So that was one false promise he gave the people so he could, you know, give him his peace. All right. That was one hurdle. And then after everything comes down, he marry her. And then the, the other thing is, oh, he, she's not going to be, uh, what is it? She's not going to be called queen or something like that. Whatever nonsense he gave the people just to hold on to dear life so they don't bother him. Okay. But now what did we get? You have the queen come out and said this. All right. Let's see here. New details about the trio tumultuous relationship continued to emerge and his new book rebel prince the power and passion and defiance of prince charles author tom bauer has claimed that charles and camilla once plotted to publicly portray diana as quote unbalanced and unfaithful and quote in order for camilla to be more well liked oh my god they are baggage for god they are baggage for god Oh, I'm telling you, Princess Diana, you are a place where nobody can touch you. This is where you have to speak to the universe, for us, to the Lord. According to Bauer, Charles and Camilla worked with their PR rep and assistant private secretary, Mark Bullen, to Yeah, this I've seen, uh, there's videos on YouTube I've seen where they talk about this, trying to prop up, uh, uh, what's her name, uh, Camilla's image and all of this. I've seen videos of that. Okay. According to Bauer, Charles and Camilla worked with their PO rep and assistant private secretary Mark Bolin to dev devise a plan to attack Diana's image. They reportedly wanted to, quote, demetallogize Diana by portraying her as a manipulative hysteric, end quote, following her August 1997 death at the age of 36. My goodness, they didn't even wait uh, for her to rest in peace. They start at it. Oh my God, oh my God, these people, 
Let's see here. Jack, with the greatest respect, what makes you think you know what the public want? You are constantly pushing Harry and Meghan, and as it clearly demonstrates by Paul, they are definitely not what the public want. They may not have initially wanted Camilla, but minds change. Care Pauls, you believe Pauls? <laughs> I have a bridge I like to sell you. It's been in my family for a generation. It is going for a still. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I love how you inadvertently said the trigger word and set Richard off. Suddenly, he set up and just had to inject, interject with the party. Daily Mail, Peace Moment, Royal Voda line, fascinating how Meghan and Harry are so under their skin and they need to push this false majority idea. Okay, I didn't hear the rest of where they mentioned Harry or Meghan, but whatever. Okay, but I agree with you, Camilla is unpopular. However, there is an underlying fear the monarchy is at risk. So royalists and right-wing media who don't like Camilla are prepared to pretend they do and encourage the public to get behind her for their great greater good survival okay let's see this this sounds huh? they're being paid well to print lies but enjoy your garden tools for a queen <laughs> okay all right let me move on let me move on to the next one all right so next tweet i'm already oh my god 21 minutes next tweet all right there's this here angela levine is still bitter that prince harry has urinate on them as royal reporters she can't help herself but to spew her bitterness at Meghan at every opportunity for taking Harry away from her toxic grip. <laughs> My goodness. Look how they stand up when they love somebody. Look how they stand up for them. Say, but they never met her. Talking about Camilla. They never met her. Maybe if they took a chance to get to know her, they did this, they did that. How come they never said about Meghan? Meghan have shown compassion to everybody that she goes around and meet. The, look at the, the the hub kitchen the hub kitchen uh women and all those other charities that she went around and did good they have megan have shown okay have shown her true self but yet that they, they demonize her they demonize her i mean whoever was behind it we know who was behind it because there's uh stuff that they went around to purposely smear her name we know who they are all right angela you're looking like you had been caught in your own life <laughs> Okay, how pleased was I that Good Morning Brenner had to cut her off this morning before she could utter their names. Oh, okay. I didn't watch that part, but only the other guy. There's this. Do you suppose she really thought she and Harry had some kind of relationship? Okay, she spew poison every time she speaks. I'm telling you, the world is, uh, is turning into a negativity, a poisonous kind of world. It's due to all people the nonsense that the great-grandparents taught him and as they're exiting and they're leaving that toxicity and very few young people are aligning with this kind of mindset oh my god how could they use her to write an autobiography not surprised her bird of feathers sleep together there's a life angela the devil okay how did she get a name like angela <laughs> somebody goofed that woman is the <laughs> personify all right let's go to the next one this one is i think it has a video from the view it might be slightly longer yeah all right so there's the view here i have to stop in between okay queen elizabeth supports a new title for camilla after queen elizabeth asked that her daughter-in-law camilla the duchess of cornwell be known as queen concert when her son charles become king the view panel question if this will bring Camilla into the public's good grace. All right, five minutes and five seconds. Is celebrating 70 years on the throne. Wow. And she's and says that when her son Prince Charles becomes king, his second wife Camilla <laughs> should hold the title Queen Consort. I'm laughing. Look how she holds the, uh, the knife to cut the cake. But let's continue. Some royal watchers consider Camilla a villain for breaking up the marriage of Charles and Princess Diana. Um, so, so do you think she should wear the crown? That's the question let's not forget all right as much as camilla is involved with breaking up the marriage it's definitely 100 percent uh also the fault of prince charles because if he wanted the marriage to work as a going man he should have known not to mess with camilla all right but camilla also knows charles was married okay they both 
100% or equally uh, the cause of the breakup. All right, so we need to not forget it just uh, it doesn't take just one it takes two all right so let's continue question since she did break up the relay as i said to you on the break camilla uh, married uh, i mean according to charles's autobiography authorized by him uh he began an affair with camilla in 1986 and charles and Di split up in 1992. so he was having an affair with her while he was married to diana yeah and a lot of brits do not like that a lot of americans don't like it either i don't like it I think it's, I, I mean, remember that famous interview when Diana, looking so hurt and looking so traumatized and looking, quite frankly, very depressed, said there were three of us in this marriage? Yeah, it was a bit crowded, she said. It was a bit crowded, yeah. right? I mean, she was never given, I think, the chance um, by Charles to really be in love because Camilla was waiting in the wings like a like mistresses oftentimes do. And I just, I don't think that you get the title of queen when you really were a mistress and maybe you should just stick with princess cohort, which is what they had agreed. Princess who? Princess cohort was going to be cohort? her title. That's because the they other title. They recognized, I don't like that one. Well, she's going to be now the, the consort, maybe consort, consort, I'm sorry. She was going to be, now she's going to be the cohort queen consort. Freudian, yes, she was it was a, a Freudian cohort. slip. I don't like it. Oh, Listen. consort oh, is what it is. Oh, man, I hate when they're doing that. I mean, a slip of a tongue, fine, but they keep on interrupting her from a, a silly thing, and then she's trying to bring a good point, and then they're disrupting her, like I'm doing right now. Uh, first, I think... <laughs> she's the queen adulterer. Listen, let me tell you. Oh, that's a good <laughs> one. A queen of the adulterer. Let's see here. Maybe consort, I'm sorry. She was going to be, now she's going to be the queen it's consort. Freudian, yes, she was it was a, a Freudian cohort. slip. I don't like it. Oh, oh consort is what I don't think, I don't I think uh, first I think. She's the queen adulterer. Listen, let me tell you something. Like <laughs> At the rate Queen Elizabeth is going, she might outlive Camilla. <laughs> so this might be a moot yeah. point. Uh, That's true. Uh, uh, you know, look, uh, the queen has saved Brits and Americans who don't like it. A lot of debate by setting this up uh, before anything happens to her. Right. Obviously, Camilla does not fit the Disney princess narrative. She doesn't fit the look. But there's only Shit. one person who cares about this, and it's Charles, who apparently has some sort of codependent, uh, you yes, know, lifelong soulmate relationship. I don't like the idea about she broke up the marriage. I think relationships are very complicated. Uh, and I think that not one person breaks up a marriage. There it is. Look at this. I didn't even hear this part. That is true. Okay, let's finish here what she's saying. I think there's oh, more to it than that. It's difficult when you're sleeping with someone else's husband. Well, oh. you know what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sonny. I'm sorry, Sonny is on point. Sonny is on point. This is why, um, remember when, who was coming to the view and then they give her that false COVID test, okay? Because she's on point. They didn't want her to, this is why I believe they didn't, um, they give her that false COVID test. I think it was Vice President uh, Camilla Harris who was going to The View. And then it was around that time uh, the Haitian thing was happening at the Texas border. All right. They gave her that false uh, that false COVID test so she doesn't appear when um, Vice President Camilla Harris was there. Uh, Harris. Harris. Forgive me. All right. So they may give her that false thing so she doesn't appear because she will give them she will ask the right question and she will say exactly what almost everybody's thinking about. There she is. This is why I like Sonny. She's on point. Yes, let's move by. Look at her drinking her tea. <laughs> let's go back a little bit. I think that not one person breaks up a marriage. I think there's uh, more to it than that. It's difficult when you're sleeping with someone else's husband. Well, oh. you know what? So <laughs> Sonny, not everybody is, is, is <laughs> forced to have, uh, you know, met their Prince Charming but in their 20s and, and spent the rest of their life. The Queen yeah. didn't, in paradise. They didn't want him, and I learned everything I know from the Crown. Okay, yes. that's full yes, disclaimer right. here. Yes, yes. A lot of it is not true. Remember well, that. Oh, really? So you guys yes, can correct me because I'm not a royal. Don't say like, that to me because I love it so much. Okay. It's fictionalized. So the royal family did not want Charles with Camilla, although yeah. he loved her she before was Diana, though, because she didn't have a title. And Camilla had dated several men before Charles, and I guess the family wanted him to marry a virgin i guess that's still a thing um but it's the truth though even the, the crown as much as they want to discredit the crown all right the, the royal family and we just hear from the view here but it goes based on true event true event all right but uh i've read in so many other places and diana said it herself okay charles said whatever love is and all of this 
You know, it's like you could see his mum's boot print on the back of his jacket. Are you in love? Lovely little question. Very typical question to ask people who've just got engaged. And I suppose in love? Of course. <laughs> Whatever in love means. <laughs> They didn't really want to get married. Uh, Diana have said so many of those things that the Crown have portrayed the royal family as part of, you know, realistic. All right? But you, we could put all this stuff in our head to uh, discredit it, but it is what it is. So, <laughs> sorry, that was a That joke. was a while. Like, <laughs> it was a while. But, so I think that maybe she's trying to get the blessing of her son years later that she knows she forced him to do this. And like Anna said, I think probably Charles was just as eager to get out of that marriage. Like, I think he broke the marriage. Charles did. I don't think it was necessarily uh, just Camilla. So he but, might, she might be trying to get, a, a, get on good graces as she reaches the twilight years. I have but at the same time, respect the people. You're saying for the crown. The crown belongs to the people of the United Kingdom. Right? Respect the people. So all of this BS that they're doing in the background, they're showing they're disrespecting the intelligence of the UK and Brits. But I guess, I, I don't know, maybe the Brits okay with that. I don't know. That's my humble opinion here. But let's continue. I have, I have, listen, I, I know about the Brits because I watch everything. You and, do. You know, it's not unusual for these royals to have affairs. Everybody knows, even in the crown, right. Elizabeth's eyes, uh, brows are raised when they talk about infidelity because right. she knows that Philip was not the best boy. Right. And so Diana, in a certain way, a virgin and also a little naive to the and fact that young. this is de rigueur yeah. in the royal households. Mm -hmm. when no, she, we're doing when, but still, that should not give a pass to the royal family it's almost like giving the pass to pedophile pedophilia pedos all of this the way uh, she's talking here it's immoral to do this kind of behavior all right they tricked diana to marry into that family he chased her did all of that but he never loved her why did he do that why did he do that all right so let's not give a pass for things that's it what that they did is wrong. Brits, not French today. We're doing for de rigueur. Is there rigueur? Yeah. All right. So, so listen, <laughs> Charles and Di, Charles and Camilla first mm. met in 1970. I just have to read this. It's so interesting. Mm. Camilla joked about the fact that her great grandmother had had an affair with King Edward VII, oh, saying, so in her saying, family. quote, my great grandmother <laughs> was the mistress of your great great grandfather. I feel we have something in common. She enjoyed that. They, oh they, what they do. No self-respect. No self-respect. This is something I would be ashamed of, but hey, they're proud of the, being a whole, like some of the squad put on the thing <laughs> for all the whole in the, you know, this is your time. They are the royals. They can do whatever they want. Camilla didn't have to do that. Go back. Exactly. The bottom line is she's going to be his, you know, <laughs> by his side when he becomes king. At least, you know, he's not going to be just talking to the plant. He'll be he's queen cohort. And he yeah. should be happy. Let the boy be happy for uh, uh, at least at no, this boy, point. He's well, elderly. Whatever. He's a freaking man. He's getting up there. <laughs> but let but him he be doesn't have to do that. Why didn't they give Harry and Meghan that respect? What's wrong with these people? Let him be happy. Why didn't they let Harry and Meghan be happy? Happy for, as oh, he's the shit. king. What, uh, uh, Sonny, you've got to relax on this one. They didn't let Harry be happy. Thank yeah, you. With his princess. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I'm telling you, she tells everything that's in people's mind. Let's move it back a little bit. She's spot on. Well, whatever. I know, he is getting up there. <laughs> but let him be happy for, as he's the king. What? Uh, Sonny, you've got to relax on this one. They didn't let Harry be happy. Yeah, with his princess. Thank you. Uh, oh, you that's know, a, that's queen, a whole other. The queen's got so many problems. <laughs> the, the, the music is coming up. Exactly. Sonny's right. Let's see here. Now the comment. And this is why Charles has allowed his son Harry and Meghan to be savaged by the press and not say a word. It, uh, it was an exchange for good media and press for him and his mistress, the people who benefit from the press bashing of the Sussexes or Charles, Camilla, Kate, and William. Yeah, that's exactly that. And this is why I say he doesn't uh, have any feeling for anything he created for the crown, you know, with Diana. He didn't care for Diana. I don't think he cared for William. I don't think he cared for Harry. Thank God Harry realized that he doesn't, his father doesn't care for him. But unfortunately, the other one who's next in line, future, future, you know, take 
his father like him. And I think that press conference that he did, they probably forced him to do it. And then he went alone. Someone with an airhead doesn't even know, then stick up for his mother. And this is why people said, let's shut this down. And this is the thing here. Uh, at the time, before William came out and said his mom is paranoid and stuff like that, people were wanting uh, for, uh, to skip to skip Charles, okay, to go straight to future, future. And then what Charles did here, okay, to make people don't like his son, is to force his son to say the things that he did, calling the mom paranoid, discredited the uh, BBC, Martin Bashir interview, and all of that. And now people hate uh, William as much. So this is the, uh, he gave, Charles sort of gave the people, here, go bash on, on William, while let me take care of my business with my mistress. This kind of thing. This is what happened here. But he didn't have the uh, the mental awareness to say, no, I'm not going to bash my mom and stuff. Believe me, if he had stood up for his mother, I think whatever some of the royalists and stuff like that will stick with him. But because of what he did, nobody wants any, uh, the monarch anymore. Well, how should I say nobody? A good portion. A good portion of Brits don't want the monarch. Okay, yes, we know. Let's see here. Sunny usually tried to keep her personal feeling out of the conversation. Seems like today she frankly <laughs> gave, was it the, I get Diana, uh, knew she couldn't, uh, was it, she couldn't, I, okay, was D. Okay, I'm off here. They didn't give a D. Anna knew she couldn't say shit. That's how she obtained her hobby. Either way, thank you, Sonny, for not holding back. Yeah, she told exactly what we were t uh, thinking. For real. I didn't know about Anna. I guess that's why she gave such a weak answer that is completely out of order with her usual opinion. Okay, I don't listen to the view that much. Uh, so, it's a moment like this when a clip come on Twitter and I'll watch it. But that's about it. But I don't watch the view. For real. And I could watch it, by the way. Because the TV station that they're giving is not part of, uh, how do you call this, uh, cable company. I, I have antenna where I could watch other stations for free without paying for cable company. So that station that usually show it, I could watch it. But I just, every time that I have is either making videos or editing them or work with my kids or something like that. So I don't have time to watch TV that much. Okay, for real, I didn't know about Anna. I guess that's why she gave such a weak answer that is completely out of order with her usual uh, uh, opinions. Okay, Prince Charles has always loved Camilla. It's time just to let them be happy. Yeah, but like Sonny said, why didn't they just leave Meghan and Harry alone? Okay, let's hear her. Okay, that's fine, but it shouldn't be at the expense of others. All the media keep doing is bashing Megan to elevate Kate and Camilla. If they are so wonderful on their own merits, the media sh wouldn't need to trample the Sussexes to elevate the other royals. That's that's exactly that. <laughs> Look, I give it a like. Okay, there's this. Megan and Harry have made their own choices, and I, for one, are not bashing them. Nobody's saying that, but the same way you're sticking up for, what's her name, the Camilla thing. Why didn't you come and sticking up for Harry too? Okay, Harry didn't do anything. Everything that Harry does is helping people, but yet they smear his name on, on social media, uh, on national television, every chance that they get. All right. Why didn't you come up and say, let them be, leave them alone, let them be happy. If it wasn't for the Sussex squad sticking up for Harry and Meghan, my goodness, this is ridiculous. But the others, you always have some people out of nowhere saying, let them be. Yeah, we would have let them be if they had leave Harry and Meghan alone. My goodness, they have the same right to be happy, but they walk away from the royal on their own. But because they were doing so much shit to them. Megan was suicidal. The same shit they did to Diana, they were doing to Megan. This is what the first comment was saying here. Okay? They were doing the same shit they did to Diana to Megan. So, Harry saw the sign. Otherwise, they would have lost Megan just like they did to Diana. So, he had to move really quick before they get to her. My goodness. These people, oh my God, the common sense of people. Okay, they have the same right to be happy, but they walk away from the royals on their own, but they haven't stayed out of the media. What have they done? If it's not about their work, have we heard all the BS we've been hearing from the UK uh, 
when they were in the UK, they only come out to support work that they uh, care about. They don't talk about their personal life that the, uh, the media used to do. Oh my God. Okay, stay out of the media. So if the media talks about who did that to them, they did. Okay, let's see this. Okay, Megan hasn't been in the UK in two years and they have zero engagement with British media. If the media insists on seeking them out and talking about them, even when they are radio silent, that is not the Sussex's fault. Direct your annoyance at your country's uh, gallery media. Let's see here. Royals Fury as Harry uh, and Demon. Oh my God. This is why they don't want to put censorship into these people. Demon Megan. My God. Lord have mercy. Don't publicly congratulate Queen. Or why will they come and congratulate? They're staying out. They don't want their name near this nonsense that's going on over there. So because they didn't come out and con maybe Megan, oh, not Megan, Harry did pr uh, privately with the Queen. But they want them to come out and look how they mention her name. Demon Megan don't publicly congratulate Queen or Camilla. Why will they do that? They don't want to give them a chance to talk about them, but yet they're inserting them into their BS. William, Angel, uh, uh, Angel, oh, what? They put Angel Kate now? For Megan is Demon, for Kate is Angel. God, did, I'm telling you, these people are something. This is baggage for you. Angel Kate haven't either, but that's uh, beside the point. Okay, radio silence from Harry and Meghan, Duke and Duchess of Sussex, failed to publicly congratulate the Queen as she celebrated her platinum jubilee and request that Camilla become Queen Consort when Charles is made King. And look at this. Harry is trying to um, get, uh, what is it, security when he goes over there. So maybe if when Charles is being crowned, he could come with his kids to, I guess, out of respect for the father. But they don't want to give him security. I don't know what's going in the background ever since that thing came out. Nobody come out. The Sussexes don't come out and say anything. But uh, you don't want to give them the security that they deserve. And then this is how you portray them. Do you think they want to show their face? My goodness. These people are something. We will let them be as happy as they allow Harry and Meghan to be while they were in the UK. Including when they had to rely on the kindness of stranger because old Charlie pulled their security and leaked their location in Canada to the Daily Mail. You see? Care wasn't he sleeping with Baroness Taiwan aka Kanga. Who's that? While he was creeping around with Camilla, Camilla is just another side mistress he married to clean up his image after he abused and cheated on Diana. Okay? If they won't have been destroyed life of Diana, then yes. <laughs> we have all had first love but we didn't abuse or destroy any families it shows they aren't mature enough to lead a nation okay does he really from what i have uh, seen in tabloid many many years ago charlie definitely had a wandering eye plus rumor of being caught with a pillow fluffer in australia what's a pillow fluffer <laughs> also gossip reared its head again recently stating they don't live together amongst other reasons okay Charles has been a spoiled brat for years since he was born and he should have married Camilla or at least been honest with Diana who was 19 to his 33. He used Diana like a bird mare and expect her to smile while he had both his mistresses. Yeah, okay, I totally agree with you. I love Princess Diana and she got the bad end of the deal and he should have been honest with her. Sadly, life goes on. Oh my God. Yeah, life does goes on, but don't uh, how do you call it? Don't insult people's intelligence. My God. And th this is uh, up to the UK. Okay, then he should have married her instead of treating Diana like a good man. That's exactly that. I believe that. He shouldn't marry Diana at all. She was 19 and he was 33. Camilla hung around that marriage like a hungry snake just waiting to pounce. Let her enjoy her crown. Mm -mm -mm. Well, he should have stand up and not marry Diana. Both Camilla and Charles are selfish cheaters who ruin an innocent, naive girl's life. Diana deserves better. That's true. That's the thing here. He has been happy. He married his side piece. <laughs> but leave Harry and Meghan out of this. Leave Mar Look how, how they um, mentioned uh, this here. These people are just baggage for God. When was that? 6 February. Not too long ago. Like what? Uh, two days ago? Today is what? The 8th. Next tweet. 
Does the British media not know who Megan is? Megan, who worked full time, held several high profile roles, lived in Canada for seven years, had a whole blog about traveling and so many achievements. Why is Jane Moore trying to spread misinformation on Megan? Okay, this is an article. I don't want to click on it. Jane Moore blasted by loose women viewers for unnecessarily comparing Megan Marco to come. There's no comparison here. There is absolutely no comparison at all. From age to morality to self-respect, there's no comparison here at all. Megan's name should not be in the same sentence with Camilla at all. Okay, it's nothing to do with her. But what the hell are you mentioning her name there for? Monday, 7 February. That was yesterday. Let's see what some of the comments say. Was this new quote Megan could learn from Camilla? What? What can Megan learn? Oh, please, nothing. No matter how much money they give anybody to go learn from Camilla, there's nothing to learn from. Everything is a marvel. And marvel. Savagery, disrespect no self-respect no core values nothing nothing of integrity to learn from this woman stuff that the royal rat is floating oh my goodness can you imagine the queen sending the sussexes on a state visit and megan stop quote it's about the president farting british idea of class <laughs> is pretty foreign to the rest of the world Okay, the Brits definitely have a different approach to manners and what's considering polite behavior uh, than most other countries. Yep, there it is here. Okay, they are obsessed with a woman who has lost their country two years ago. Exactly, was GM. Who's GM? I don't know. It's just one of the media Karens deeply embedded in the destroy Megan narrative. Pathetic. Uh, right, this is why I don't waste time watching quote loose woman and quote the panel talk like they know less than I do and are more narrow minded than I am. I get okay, I get don't find the program in which I don't. I mean, they know exactly what they're doing. Is that misinformation like this article that I come across where they're trying to put censorship into uh, media uh, to give them liability for spreading misinformation? What did they say? Uh, the I guess politician they don't want to do that. Okay, because right now, everyone in the UK who are in a high position, position of importance to do something, to make laws, to carry out uh, morality and all of that, you have immoral people in all of those places. So everybody scratch, is scratching everybody's back. They turn a blind eye when things need to be checked on. All right, so nothing is going to change unless the people of the UK decided enough is enough. Otherwise, we're going to see the same stupidity coming out of that country. Okay, Jane Moore is one of the brand with her racism, like when she was trying to normalize casual ra casuals racism, like somehow that is more acceptable. Let uh, the adulterer Camilla Parker Bowles get the heat she created herself when she ruined Princess Diana's marriage. Megan Marco was not born with uh, CPB met Chuck. Okay. Uh, Charles White makes dig at loose woman co-star Jane Moore for being okay with casual racism. Okay, you can read the rest here because this is stupid. Okay, I totally agree. I cannot believe how they want to bring in casual racism like it better than racism. Racism is disgusting, period. You know, it's just that at some point they need to feel their own medicine. They need to taste their own medicine. That's all. That's how they will get it. They need to taste it. Okay, feel it in order for them to know exactly what people are doing uh, or feeling. Okay, the lesson for Megan is that if you let the public and the press abuse you as much as they like, eventually they keep on abusing you. Yeah, Megan will never be able to do right by these people. All right? Even if she tried to play alone, look at it. She went over there uh, naively, just like Princess Diana, naively. And then she was doing good thing. What did they do? Abuse, abuse, abuse. She didn't do anything. They tell her to keep quiet while they're abusing her what happened she left what they doing they keep at it all right until you know she had to do her thing call them to court and then uh, move on with her life uh let's see here megan did public engagement until her nine month of pregnancy photos are worth a thousand lies hmm. she then just go shake hands with the charities she earned funds for the charities by marketing a book using her connection to donate proceed from a design apparel yeah if people uh, the squad don't mention these things you know nobody will know it 
okay because the other one or create a narrative that uh, you know to make the other one look good while they're destroying another Okay, it's just getting quite disturbing now, to be honest. It's been disturbing when they caught my attention, when I was minding my own business. It's been too long, too long into this. Leave Harry and Meghan out of this. It's terrible media. It's just horrible in this country. And who does uh, Jane write for? I mean, it's up to the people in the UK to stop this nonsense. Murdoch, whom Harry is suing for hacking his phone. All right, let's move on. Oh my God, I thought this video was going to be short, but looks like I'm going to be more than an hour. One, two, three, four, five. I have five more.